So today we've come to the town of Nagana Upsyong and it's a really interesting place because they've got this huge walled fortress that goes the whole way around it. It was originally built in the 1300s but there's actually evidence of life being here since 18 BC and it was, the original intention for why it's built was to protect against Japanese pirates coming across and trying to invade and at the time it would have become quite an important location with all the kind of local county buildings and things like that in the area. So there are two things that makes this place particularly interesting. The first one is that it's a folk village so they've preserved the kind of peasant town rather than what's usually preserved as kind of like the grand palaces and castles and things. So that's the first thing. And the second thing is that they actually still have people that live here in those traditional old thatched cottages. So we have to be careful not to disturb anyone. were actually arranged originally is that the houses would all kind of feature around a central vegetable garden and then each house would be made up of several different buildings so you'd have one building which was the women's quarter another building that was the like toilet basically another building which might be like the kind of main living area and then like a storage room as well for like all of your store and wood and things like that for the winter and so, a manure pile oh yeah don't forget that. Nowadays, a lot of them also seem to feature cars. <laughs> Obviously, they didn't have them back in the day. So one thing that Suncheon in general is famous for is they've got a lot of like film sets and they use this as like a film set for when it's kind of more village life. And then there's another film set back in town, which we're hoping to go to tomorrow, which they use for like luxurious palace style buildings but they've got a load of different pictures around here. I think of like cutscenes from some of the films that have been filmed here. So we've made it onto the village walls and the part that we're walking up at the moment is really, really tall because there's kind of like a hill at the one end of the village that so they would have had to build it super high to keep all the pirates out. Although, I can't actually see the sea anywhere. It's surrounded by all these gorgeous mountains. It's really green and pretty. But I cannot see where the pirates have come from at all. We decided to leave Naganopson now. We've been here, I guess, a couple hours. It's about three o'clock now, or it's half two, and we're getting pretty hungry. It's quite warm, but it's so pretty in there. I was getting massive throwbacks to the UK. There's this place called Laycock, and it really reminds me of there for some reason. It's really so, peaceful. Yeah, feeling kind of nostalgic and a bit homesick, but we're gonna go and just get a snack somewhere, I think. Maybe even a coffee to pack ourselves up. So we just nipped into the local convenience store and bought one of the dishes that you can heat up and they have a microwave in the store so we're able to heat it up in here and then they have a table and chairs so we can sit down and eat it in the AC and enjoy that. Apparently it might be another hour to love us so we may as well kill some time. This should take us an hour and seven minutes and the bus on the way only be 40 but the next bus isn't for another half an hour so at least we're on our way making the journey. So I think that bus was longer because it went like all up in the hills, it was so windy Very windy. But we're back in Sunchion now, and I think 
First of all, we're gonna go and buy our tickets for tomorrow because we're moving on to Jeonju tomorrow. And then I think we need a coffee. We definitely need something to perk ourselves up if we're gonna do anything else today other than just go to bed. So we booked our train. Um, it was really, really easy. Uh, the guy spoke perfect English. We were going on the Mugung Kwa, which is like the slowest type, but it's only an hour and it was only 7,800 each, which is like less than five pounds. Back on the bus again. Only for a short time now though. This is this will be our probably on the bus for around three hours today. <laughs> At least I got a nice uh, coffee to help it go down. There is literally no one here. It's just completely breath of fresh air after one month of being in China and there's thousands of people everywhere. I'm not sure if it's just we're here at the wrong time of day or the wrong time of year or both, but it's dead. Actually, I'm not sure if we've mentioned it, but we're at the Sunchun National Gardens and it's about 5 p.m. So that's probably why it's quite quiet. But it says it opens till 8 p.m. at this time of year, so maybe it's a good time of year to come. So we do need to go around this place reasonably quickly because we've only got a few hours here and online it does say you need like half a day to go around the whole thing. But we were just kind of like, we're always going to these gardens and like it's outdoor the of the day. scenic areas. Yeah, we always go in the middle of the day and we're always sweating. So we thought we'd come in the evening. It's got that lovely glow on everything. It's really pretty and it's a heck of a lot quieter as well. come to this viewpoint and it's absolutely gorgeous however it does make you realize how big this place is it just stretches for ages so we're probably not gonna be able to see all of it but I'd also say coming here different times of year you just see a completely different place altogether it's an entirely different kind of flying altogether it's an entirely different kind of flying. I think if you come here in autumn, the trees are looking amazing. And in the winter, I think they do sometimes get snow, which would also be pretty impressive. So this seems to be a pretty cool place to come. So we just came down past all the trees and through apparently what's the Royal Azalea Garden. And the azalea is apparently the, the flower of Suncheon and of this area. So, I just thought it was a wrapper. <laughs> but I don't think any of the flowers are out because I didn't see many flowers on the walk and maybe they come out more in the spring or the autumn or something. We were just reading a little bit more about this place and we found out that the reason it was built is actually really interesting. So apparently they only used to get about 100,000 visitors a year to Suncheon, which isn't that much. And then that dramatically rose to 3 million people. And then they were starting to get a little bit worried because everyone was going to Suncheon Bay, which is kind of like the natural area. It's like really beautiful wetlands, loads of wildlife and stuff. And they were worried that with 3 million visitors, it was gonna get completely destroyed and all of the animals and stuff are going to be affected so they set aside this whole area of land and built this gorgeous garden to be like come and visit here instead this is what you should do when you come and visit Suncheon so they kind of like brought everyone away from the natural area and then they've kind of designated that a little bit more so you have to go there now on like a monorail you can't kind of go there freely as much as you used to which I think is actually really nice like although it is nice to be able to go and see the natural stuff, it's good that they are aware of the environment and they're trying to conserve. We've pretty much come to the end of the day here it has been such a nice day. Yeah, 
loads of pretty things just a day of like relaxation just soaking in our surroundings it's been really nice actually. i didn't really expect to do as much today as we did so we actually did get quite a nice bit of sunshine done in one day so tomorrow we're leaving Suncheon and we're heading to Jeonju, which is another interesting and historical town in Korea. So we're going to end the video for today and then pick up again tomorrow. What do people do, Jen? Give us a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe. Where do they subscribe? Down here. Here, right? Right here. And what else should they do? Comment. Uh-huh, comment down below. And then also share it with all their friends and family. Sure thing.